Greetings, Lake Nokomis Lutheran Church. This is Pastor Sarah sharing with you a video of the wind blowing through a flowering tree at Lake Hiawatha Park from my walk home last night. I'm in awe of the beauty in the world right now, but I'm also in despair of all the terror in the world right now. Today I need to talk to you about the terrible things so I'm showing you an image, this video, of one beautiful thing. It's been two years since George Floyd was murdered in our city. Last week, 10 people died at the grocery store in Buffalo, New York, and five people died in their church in Sacramento, California. Both of those shootings were racially motivated. Now, 19 children and two teachers have been murdered in their fourth grade classroom in Texas. This is not okay. It's terrible, it's more than terrible. It's evil. My dad called today, he was excited, filled with joy to tell me about last night's Little League game. My third and fifth grade nephews play for the Cubs the third grader got two hits. My dad reported that he should have been out, but he's a fast runner and so he got to the base before the ball both times. Those boys played their hearts out, but the Cubs didn't get the win last night. And my dad called the loss heartbreaking. That's what last night should have been for those kids in Uvalde, Texas too. The most heartbreaking thing that they should be waking to, up to on this fine spring morning is the loss of a Little League game. The fact that they are not is not okay. It's terrible. It's more than terrible. It is evil. I'm a pastor. I'm not a politician or a policymaker, so I don't know exactly how we can make this terribleness okay again. What I do know is that my faith is a part of it. My trust that God is present, my ability to pray and act are necessary now. Theologian Miroslav Vol said, there is something deeply hypocritical about praying for a problem you are unwilling to resolve. So today my prayer is the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi who prayed, Lord, make us instruments of your peace. I'm not just praying for peace. I'm praying that God would use me, you, us, as instruments to bring peace and beauty into all of the places where terrible things have happened and where evil seems to have the upper hand right now. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. The poet Rainier Maria Rilke imagined God speaking to us as God created us. And he wrote from God's voice, let everything happen to you, beauty and terror. Just keep going. No feeling is final. Don't let yourself lose me. Nearby is the country they call life. You will know it by its seriousness. Give me your hand. I will see you in church on Sunday. In the context of our Christian community, we will hold the beauty alongside the terror. We will hold our despair alongside our hope. We will remind each other that God leads us in the way of peace and God holds our breaking hearts with tender care.